Welcome to ChemNet Base, a collection of 11 cutting edge interactive databases and dictionaries with features including one stop search, chemical text search, chemical structure search, improved transparency with interactive design, mobile responsive design, new customization, save searches, improved entry display. Hi, my name is Davis. I'm a chemistry student here at the university. I'm working on several assignments and I need to do some research while I'm in the lab. Today, I'll be looking at the properties of the chemical element platinum. Then I'll focus on combining a property search with a structure search. And finally, I will be searching for a solvent. My university subscribes to ChemNet Base, which gives me access to a collection of interactive databases and dictionaries. With ChemNet Base, I can do my research online, in the lab, in my room on campus, or wherever I am on my laptop, mobile device, or tablet. Before I start my in-depth research, let me show you some key search functionalities. The first one I would like to show you is doing a cross-product search across all ChemNet-based products. I will begin by typing nitrile in the search box. Search results for each product are displayed in a series of tabs. I'm interested to see what Dictionary of Organic Compounds has on nitrile, so I select that tab to see the results. I want to find more about acetonitrile N-oxide, so I clicked on the box next to it. Here is the compound I found, which shows physical and chemical property data and includes literature references with live links to the article. ChemNet Base gives me access to the most authoritative content from sources like the Handbook of Chemistry and Physics, which has been used by scientists for over a hundred years. And it's so easy to use that I can browse, search, build and save content so I can spend time on the material rather than finding it. Let me show you how I research platinum. I start with the simple search. The handbook is updated annually and has been used by scientists for over 100 years. It's a dependable, world-renowned resource. I find 61 results which I can review and share with my team. Right at the top of the list is atomic masses and abundances. Just what I need. I click on it and the page from the handbook opens. I can print this page or other ones or download them to review later. Now I go back to the search results and click on the interactive table under atomic masses and abundances. What I really like is that I can filter my selections, print pages, or export to an Excel spreadsheet anytime. Okay, now it's time to get into a molecular structure search. Now this is really fantastic. I click on the flask icon, then click on Draw Structure Query, which is available right here online. Here, I'll be able to draw a chemical structure and then add properties like boiling point and molecular weight. I start by clicking on Draw Structure Query. I start drawing. Actually, the structure kind of draws itself with some help from me. For this one, I drew Pyrrole using Marvin JS from Chemaxon. I then click on Add Structure. You can see how I've added melting point. I could have added other properties too. Then I click on the search button for the results of my structure search. I can filter, export, and even print these search results. I can see the structure I chose with one click. How cool is that? Again, I can export to Excel, filter the data, and share it. Next, I'm going to use the Combined Chemical Dictionary, or CCD, to research solvents with a five-membered heterocyclic ring. By the way, CCD and all other ChemNet-based dictionaries work just like the Handbook of Chemistry and Physics. 
So, if you can use one, you can use them all. I go to chemnetbase.com, where I click on CCD. I click on Draw Query, and I am set to go. I select the five-membered ring from the pool palette and click to Add, which transfers the structure to the screen. Next, I modify one of the atoms to make them heterocyclic instead of carbon. I simply click on the periodic table and more. I click on the Not List button and then C. Then I go back to my five-membered ring and click on one of the nodes. The symbol immediately changes. With that done, I click Add Structure to Search Query to move the structure to the search screen. I can add a property that enables me to search for solvents. Then I choose Use Importance from the Add Property box and type in Solvent. Search results are listed alphabetically. I can see as much or as little as I want. Today, I want to see the entire entry. So I click on the compound, tetrahydrofuran. As you can see, there's a lot of information here, including percent composition, use importance, and other compounds related to the parent entry for tetrahydrofuran. To see all the editable structures for each compound, I just click on the structure icon. I can add more data to my report by clicking on the Columns button. Select additional data you would like to see, and just hit OK, and the results list refreshes. Now my search results show a whole new field, CAS registry number, which validates my research. It's easy to export a search in a variety of formats. Simply select the rows to export, click on Export Data, and select Desired File Format. Here's one of my Excel reports. What's great is that compound names are hyperlinked to the CCD entry. So I can go back to the original online entry and print it if I want to. A few things to keep in mind. ChemNetBase is a current authoritative resource that's easy to use, great for drawing chemical structures, and a great collaboration tool that I can use anywhere, anytime. Knowing how much I can learn and accomplish in so little time makes me feel good about my studies and my university.